What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, bringing you guys our week three at Team Builder, going up against Gym Leader Geo and the San Francisco Giants. Ace. Your Detroit Steel Wings coming off a big win last week against Coach Z and the Columbus Chew. Looking to pick up another divisional win here against Geo. He's a great friend of mine, great battler, uh, fantastic GBA uh, player, fantastic friend. He's a handsome guy, too. Always got to say good stuff about Geo. Love, love me some Geo. So I'm looking forward to this matchup. If you guys are, too, show some love and the like button down below if you're new. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on more competitive Pokemon content. The APA Team Builder went up earlier. If you guys want to check out some APA action as well, on top of the GBA, feel free to do so as well. Geo's team, you guys see it above me right here. Very, very, uh, very, very scary. Um, there's actually one incorrection on there, and I'll get to it when I get there. Um, but first off, he has Mew. Base 100s across the board. Very versatile Pokemon. 120, um, or 100s across the board. Sits at about 120 speed. Pops off about 167. Max speed in level 50. Um, can do a plethora of things. Commonly seen as more of a Spadef Stallbreaker type deal with, like, Will-O-Wisp, Knockoff, Defog, like... Does a few things. Can definitely be a def uh, more offensive, though, too. Uh, Mega Scissor. Mega Scissor is a very powerful Pokemon. One of the best Megas in format right now, if I if I do say so myself. 150 attack, 140 defense. Uh, Technician gives a priority bullet punch, um, which is very, very hard hitting. It can defog. It can knock off. It has turn momentum as well. Toxapex, a bulky, bulky, bulky water-type Pokemon with a generator ability. Can set Toxic Spikes. Has access to recover. I mean, can knock off. It's, it's, it's very... Very, very annoying to do. A Doug Trio, an incredible trapper um, with the arena trap ability. Uh, very fast, 120 base speed. Its attack is base 100, so it's like nothing too crazy. Um, if he's going to invest more into speed, like obviously you need more of an adamant set or even like a life orb or a bandit set in order to do a lot of physical damage. But its mission is there to trap things. So uh, Ditto is quite literally the San Francisco Giantes um, mascot at this point. Ditto. Uh, with the imposter ability, I, you, I, I mean, it takes, it copies something, and then you toss a scarf on, and then all of a sudden it's one stage faster than whatever it copied. So, very annoying. Slurpuff is a very scary Pokemon, both physically and special. Can set up on both sides with your Belly Drum or Calm Mind. Does have access to Sticky Web in this gen, which is something to be careful of. Uh, Chestnut. He does not have Chestnut now. He has Shaman as of as of this video. I did not fix that on my. On my thing, but he is Shaman now. Base 100s across the board. Natural cure ability. Pure grass type. Can hit really hard with moves like Seed Flare. Has aromatherapy. Haxorus. Uh, I kind of got sniped from, and I'm really upset about that because Haxorus is a really cool Pokemon. Sets up a Dragon Dance and Swords Dance. Has the Mold Breaker ability. Unnerve in case of resistance berries and stuff too, which is really cool. Blacephalon is a monster. It is the like. It is Super Saiyan three Chandelure. Hits so very very hard. Has the Beast Boost ability. 107 speed, which is a good speed here in my opinion. Uh, 127 attack and 151 special attack is nothing to sleep on. That is a very, very scary Pokemon. Signature move, mind blown, obviously. Rotom Fan, the ultimate ground immunity, uh, with, is, is, you know, electric flying type. It's got air slash, volt switch, will It gets access to defog now, which is something to keep in mind. Because he does not have a spinner on his team. Uh, and then Archeops is his last Pokemon. 110 speed, 140 attack with a defeatist ability, so under 50 H, or under half HP. Um, it does half as much attack as normal, so... Uh, pressuring that'll be very nice. Blacephalon and Archeops are his two Z captains. As far as hazard setters go, Mew, Dug Trio, and Archeops can set Stealth Rocks. Um, Toxpex can set Toxic Spikes. His defoggers are Mew, Mega Scissor, Rotom, and Archeops. He has a Heal Beller and Mew and Slurpuff, and Aromatherapy user and Healing Wish user in Shaman. So we'll talk a little bit about this. First up coming out this week, Charge Bolt the Thunderous. Uh, definitely our win con this week. Electrium Z Charge Bolt, the Prankster ability, Sub Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, and HP Ice. Uh, this blows back everything outside of a super bulky Mew. At plus two, this thing just decimates the team. Uh, Thunderbolt and HP Ice absolutely decimates the team at plus two. Um, Gigabolt Havoc, Thunderbolt is definitely nice for things like Mew and Haxers for getting off some good chip damage off on those things. Uh, being able to get behind a sub is very important for the Ditto. Um, I do not want to give him a, I will always prioritize getting a sub up in case of picking up a KO because I don't want Ditto to come in and mimic a plus two Thunderous. So, uh, max special attack, four in special defense, 252 in speed with a timid nature. With this, we are out speeding Jolly Archeops by one point. So, max speed does actually give us the opportunity to outspeed max speed Archeops. Doug Trio does outspeed us. Um, but we've got ways to deal with Doug Trio. So, next up here, Endeavor, Choice Scarf, Inferno with the Blaze ability, Flare Blitz, U-Turn, Earthquake, and Close Combat. 
252 HP, a 4 in defense, and 252 speed with a jolly nature. This is our ultimate revenge killer this week. Um, I have a coverage move for literally everything on the team that can just be killed. Nothing wants a Flare Blitz. Uh, U-Turning helps with things like Mew and Shaman, and in case he feels like Cheeky bringing in Doug Trio, I can click U-Turn out and go into something else that can handle the Doug Trio. Earthquake hits the Toxapex. Earthquake hits the... doesn't hit the Rodent Fan, obviously. Um, but Close Combat hits everything else that a Flare Blitz or an Earthquake doesn't at that point. Uh, close Combat is good revenge for Haxorus. Uh, close Combat is good for the Archaeops as well. Because it's a pretty frail boy. 65 defense is nothing too crazy. So, ultimate revenge kill this week. Um, outspeeds everything on his team. Scarf Blacephalon especially. I do anticipate a Scarf Blacephalon set. And I have the ultimate Scarf Blacephalon killer right here. So, next up here, Kuro Giri coming back. Very standard set here. Knockoff, Willow, Shadow Ball, and Haze. Max HP, max defense. Four in Spadef with a bold nature. Knockoff is really useful for getting rid of items, getting rid of berries, um, finding out items and berries too. Um, so obviously if I go for a knockoff on the Blacephalon and no item falls off, that boy is Z. Uh, will o -Wisp is nice. I can burn the Mew. Um, I can burn the Mega Scissor. If I burn the Mew and it's synchronized back to me, I'm not too worried about it. This thing is much more here for the utility of Shadow Ball. Knockoff spam is just really nice. Uh, but I can burn those. I can burn the Tox Specs so if it does have the Black Sludge, it neuters that recovery. Um, knocking off a Scarf on Diddle will be cool. Knocking off like a Citrus Berry on Slurpuff will be cool. Uh, a Life Orb or Leftovers on Shaman. Um, Haxorus, a Resistance Berry or like a Lumberry. A Life Orb, something will be really cool. Uh, Shadow Ball is really, really good spam against him. Shadow Ball spam is really good. His only normal type, obviously, it transforming into other things. Um, Shadow Ball is really, really good spam against him this week. So Shadow Ball is really nice. And then Haze, in case he sets up with something like Mew, Mega Scissor, uh, Slayer Puff, or Haxorus. Um, we can we can haze all those things around. If Blissephalon gets out of control with Beast Boost as well, and he's locked into Fire Stab, um, haze also really good for that too. Next up here, see Mentos, the Dawn fan, holding the leftovers. Uh, sturdy ability, Rapid Spin, Ice Shard, Stealth Rock, and Knock Off. And actually, I'm gonna change this because I already changed it in the team. I'm gonna change it, and hopefully that doesn't bite me in the fanny too hard. Max HP, four and attack, two fifty two defense with an impish nature. Um, Rapid Spin is nice, clears out hazards for Thunderous, who's our win con. Ice Shard is nice against the Haxorus, and Ice Shard is good for the Ditto in case it copies my Thunderous. Um, I can very easily pick that thing off. Uh, Fire Fang, I'm going to change out for Rocks because of the Mega Scissor. I don't want Mega Scissor to set up all over my face. I don't, I don't need that, so I need some way to hit that, otherwise I just kind of sit in front of it. Knock Off again, Knock Off is really good for removing items. I can't, I always feel like you should have at least one or two Knock Off users on the team. Just for, just for the utility of knocking, of removing items. So, uh, Max HP, Max Defense helps us with Slurpuff, helps us with Haxorus, helps with Archaeops, helps us with Doug Trio incredibly. And with Fire Fang over Rocks on this thing, we also help with Mega Scissor. Um, next up, I'm going to talk about Jirachi, because I'm going to talk about Suicune in a bit, because I love the Suicune set so very, very much. I love it so much. So, Real Steel coming up with the Shookaberry this week. Rocks, Iron Head, U-Turn, Healing Wish. 248 HP, 156 attack, and 104 in defense with an impish nature. We can live a plus two earthquake with the Shookaberry, provided he is Mold Breaker and not unnerved. If he's unnerved, hmm, well, there goes that. Um, Iron Head is good spam against him. Rocks are going to be very nice for breaking sashes and chipping down things like Rotom and Blacephalon. U turn will be good for the pivoting in case he thinks he can get cheeky and try at me with Dugtrio. Guess what? I U turn out. And Healing Wish will be really nice for healing up either Donphan, Kirogiri, or Thunderous. Um, I debated Regular Wish, but Healing Wish is definitely, definitely the play there for healing those things back up to full. Um, it's going to be a last-ditch effort on that, but that's only going to be if Jirachi really, really has no more usefulness, or I really value one of the walls over Jirachi's utility as well. Um, I really think that it has good potential this week, and I think Rocks are going to be somewhat important um i will prioritize getting my walls back up to full if i can either go for rocks or go for healing wish i'm gonna go for healing wish because i want to make sure all my walls are healthy if all my walls are healthy and i need to go for one move i'm gonna set up rocks but that is just how that goes and last but not least we have the scarf blacephalon counter we have the most cancerous suicune set ever seen backdraft the suicune rockin dragonium z roar sleep talk scald and rest max hp 36 in defense 220 spadef with a calm nature we take plus one shadow balls all day. We take scarf shadow balls all day. I can roar and face things out over hazards. If things set up, I can roar them out as well. I can recover with the rest. I can sleep talk. I can toss off scald. Uh, I can 1v1 a tox specs with this thing, which is really, really awesome. Because of pressure, I can wear him out of his own moves. 
Crimson Seabed, why are you running Dragonium Z on Suicune? It's not your Z, Captain. You can't do that. Watch me. Dragonium Z is really cool tech on this this week because Scarf Blacephalon coming. This is obviously a switch into Blacephalon. Obviously, this is my switch in on the team to Blacephalon. And what's the best way to cripple a switch into something other than clicking Trick on that Pokemon? You know what happens when he tries to trick me at Choice Scarf when I'm holding the Z Crystal? Nothing. That boy is done, done, donezo funzo. And I, I really hope, I really hope if anything happens, that this happens. Because this is this is my favorite set this week. I love Suicune. This is really, really cool. Um, Crocoon could definitely be a thing if he doesn't bring Rotom or if he brings the Shaman and it's already gone. Crocoon could definitely be a thing on his team. But I love, I love this set. I love being able to phase him out in case he tries setting up. I think Backdraft is going to put in a ton, a ton, a ton of work this week. That is our team going into uh, week three of the GBA. Coach Jim Leader Gito and I will be battling tomorrow, 4 p.m. Hope you guys are excited. If you are, show some love on the like button down below. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the team in the comment section down below as well. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later.